Living next to a bike trail changed my life a good bike trail. This is the American River Trail in Sacramento, California. It's 30 miles long, one way of car-free, uninterrupted bike and pedestrian trail all throughout this nice, beautiful scenery on the American River. It's a miracle that something like this can even exist in the car-dependent United States. And while I used to travel the world and country hop every few months, living here is so good that I have a hard time imagining living anywhere else. What's up, I'm Zach Gallardo. I've been riding fixed gear exclusively for the past 12 years, and for most of my transportation, I bike. I've lived and biked in a few different cities around the world, and I feel like that's given me a pretty good perspective on what actually makes a good place to live for me. In California alone, I've lived in Elk Grove, which is a suburb here in Sacramento, and a typical car dependent suburb with three Walmarts. There's some bike lanes, and you can get most places just riding through neighborhoods where traffic is slower, so I give that like a D plus. <laughs> and when I lived in San Diego, there's the Silver Strand Bike Trail and also a highway along the beach that is super nice for biking. They also have a velodrome, which is one of the few in the United States, making the bike scene really cool. But unless you're rich and you can live by the sea, then the biking is kind of mid at best. And it's your regular car dependent city for the United States. Overall, I give San Diego like a C plus. And San Francisco has really great bike infrastructure. They have a really great bike community, but during traffic time, you just don't want to be outside. So San Francisco is like a B. In Michigan, uh, uh, bike lanes and bike paths are just a foreign concept. I I'd give it like a D minus, just barely passable. Taipei, Taiwan has a really nice river trail and most of the traffic is scooters, meaning you're not just outright going to die if you get hit by somebody in traffic. I give it like a B. And Mexico City, the biggest city in North America, has the best bike infrastructure that I have ever seen in the world. And on every Sunday morning, they close off La Reforma, which is like the main street in Mexico City, so that people can just ride their bikes, skateboard, walk, run, rollerblade. The only thing that kills it is that in Mexico City, the air quality is pretty ass, pardon my French, and I get absolutely winded after like, five, 10 minutes of biking. It's not fun being a biker with asthma. <laughs> as nice as all of these places are, where I've lived in these particular places, I did not live right next to something like this, something that's 30 miles one way, 60 miles round trip of completely car free biking, where I can just spend the entire day enjoying some beautiful scenery on my bike without ever having to worry that a distracted driver is going to hit me with their car and accidentally kill me. That's the biggest difference between living here right next to the bike trail and living in all of those great and not great cities around the world. I don't have to fear that I'm going to die just because I want to do one of my favorite things in life. By the way, according to my YouTube stats, 70% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to watch more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one. I currently live a three minute drive from right here, the American River Bike Trail, which is some of the nicest biking that California, heck, even the United States has to offer. The better my biking is, the better my life is. And living here is by far the best my biking has ever been in my life. I have so many choices for where to ride and I don't ever have to interact with drivers. It is life changing. So I live pretty much right in the middle of the American River Trail so I can go west towards downtown Sacramento, where there's Velotrap, my favorite bike shop, and a bunch of other people to ride with. Or I could go east up into the hills. Yeah, there's hills here. It's great towards Folsom Lake. I just get excited to ride my bike, more so than I ever have in my life, more so than any place that I've ever been, just being three minutes away from the American River Trail. Because the quality of riding here is just so good. The trails are smooth, it's pretty, there's places to go. And if you wanna get off the trail, there's also tons of dirt riding to be had, which has made riding my Wabi Thunder absolutely pure joy where I can explore this entirely different side of riding on some really gnarly, sandy, baby, heady riverbanks, going through groves of trees. Like, it's just refreshed my love for riding because it's so dang good. And speaking of my Wabi Thunder, this video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. As a fixed year YouTuber, I get to ride pretty much any bike that I want, but I choose to ride Wabi because they're the most fun bikes that I have ever ridden. Simple as that. A lot of times when you guys meet me in person, you ask me, so like, real talk, no camera, no sponsors, what do you actually think about Wabi Cycles? And what I say on camera is the same thing that I'll tell you in person, it's the best bike that I've ever ridden. 
I love my Wabi Special and my Wabi Thunder. And the thing that makes them so fun to ride is that everything is for, because it's so exciting and refreshing to ride my bike here, I'm riding more and the rides that I'm doing are better. I have to tell my wife, Chloe, that whenever I go out for a ride, I have to try to be home in time for us to like hang out because it's so easy to just get so absorbed in riding on this trail, exploring all these little dirt paths or just completely blanking out and forgetting that I need to go home for dinner. <laughs> I have to actively try not to ride too much. This is the best problem that I've ever had. Chloe is also super excited to ride. There's a farm where there's chickens, a farmer's market where you can get super fresh produce, the best bread I've ever had in the world. And it's just a three mile ride from our home. And we end up going there pretty much every week to buy groceries. And Chloe's not a cyclist. She's not into it. The longest ride she's ever done is 20 miles. But now she's actually excited to ride all the way to downtown, which is a 30 mile round trip ride, pushing her limits as a cyclist, just because the riding here is so good. Also, it just makes me super excited to be hosting rides again. By the time this video goes up, I will be in Taiwan, but in December, I plan on hosting rides again. I plan on hosting a century, so be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can find out the details about the fixed gear century in December that I'll be hosting. But all because it feels so safe. It feels so refreshing. This is gonna sound corny, but it fills me up with the excitement for life to be living right here on the American River Trail that it makes me want to host rides and to build a community here. I used to country hop because I hated my hometown of Sacramento, but it turns out I don't hate my hometown. I absolutely love it. And I didn't know that until I moved right here, which is the best place in the world for me to be. I've found my home, I'm happy here, and I don't want to live anywhere else. And if you like this video, be sure to check out this video on how riding 100 miles on a fixed gear changed my life. But only watch that if you've ridden your bike today because life is short, but don't make it short. So be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.